Yo, what's up? It's Kaylin and Miles, and you are watching Best Fan TV. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you turn me on. I like what I see. When you bounce that thing. Like a trampoline. What's up, best fan? I'm Vanessa Franconi here with Kaylin and Miles. Hello. Yo, what's happening? No, oh, thank you for joining me. So, tour, you're selling out shows. It's amazing. You're going all over the U.S. What has that been like? Any highlights so far? Oh, thank you, thank you. This is um, probably our longest tour that we've done to date. This is about 48 city tour, and I think we've got we did like 16 shows already. 16 yeah, to 18 we're shows. Coming up on halfway. But um, yeah, it's been really awesome. I think highlight more than anything is just the energy. Uh, we were out there in Florida, and like Florida really goes hard. California shows have been great. All of them have been really special um, in their own way, but yeah, I think the energy more than anything is all there. This is our first time headlining out here, so it's cool being out here. Like the girls' energy this morning were awesome when we got into the venue. It was, it was cool. Oh yeah, so it's good to get back out here. Um, a lot of girls uh, from when we started making music, um, we had some like some real day ones that are from Canada. So it was always good to you know come out here and see them. On your new music, you work with producers Jim Johnson and Jonas Jagerberg. What did you learn from them as you worked with them? I think um, one thing that I learned from them, um, I'm definitely starting to get into writing more. And um, I think just the creative ideas, um, sometimes it's, it's cool to not always think um, too much into the lyric, but kind of just, you know, whatever flows and kind of letting that go. I learned a lot with Jim. Um, I think just like, a lot on the production side, just little like little tricks and stuff that they do, or you know, try to find um, a different you know way, a different approach to to music. With Jonas, just kind of like being more open to you know trying different things, whether that's with like writing or um, anything like that. Like trampoline was kind of different for us, but I think in the end, you know, we all we all really liked it. So um, yeah, definitely like that. And then shoot back to Jim one more time, like more just like life outlooks it kind of went a little bit deeper than just the sessions so that jim is like like an uncle or something yeah uncle like jim. Jim. and his wife can make some corn souffle that is just yeah some corn souffle they're, they're solid the yeah. whole family is, is a, they're really awesome now before you guys got signed you got a huge following independently through social media if you only had one social media to go on the rest of your life which would it be uh for me it would be twitter I think uh, we started off, you know, being connected to the people who supported us. And um, I think, you know, why change that? Just to get to talk to them would continuously would be cool if I only got to choose one. Yeah. And they have videos and stuff on there now, too. So you, Twitter pretty much has it all. But yeah, I think Twitter's my favorite. That's true. It's like all in one. It's perfect. Yeah. Um, and since you are focusing on music right now, if you could go to college or university, what would be your choice of study? Um, something in film. For sure, like that's kind of like what I was getting into when I was in high school, and um, I love any part of that, like editing, DP, like somewhere like right in there for sure. So yeah, school school wasn't for me. Um, I, I there was nothing in high school where I was like, this is dope. Um, but I think like business marketing was the closest thing where I was like. I could handle. Since I am from Best Fan, I want to know what you are a best fan of. So it could be anything. Favorite band, favorite food. Um, I'm a best fan of chicken parmesan. Mm, Italian. Yeah. <laughs> um, best fan of Starting Six. That's a group from um, the Bay where we're from. And you know, there's just a bunch of cool guys in there and make some really great music. I think inspired like a lot of the energy we have on stage and everything today. And the producer, Nick Nack, in there is friggin' awesome right now. He's doing his thing. So I think I'm a best fan of all of them and what they're doing. So thank you for joining me today. Good luck on the rest of, of your tour. You. Here with Kaylin and Miles, I'm Vanessa Franconi. Let me see if you can bounce down. You turn me on. I like what I say. You know I do, girl.